In this tutorial, I'll take a look at using the Find and Select tool in order to control layers, in order to select layers. You can get to the Find and Select tool by going to Edit, Find and Select, but also Control F on your keyboard. We have used this to choose walls, doors, or windows. Um, you could choose uh, all of your lines, but this does not work for a layer. We have assigned all the features of our electrical layer, from the switches to the outlets to the switch legs, to an electrical layer. If you wanted to hide or show that layer or control it, so let's say you wanted to change the display order, which is probably what led to this tutorial, you can do so. We have to go to Add. Sorry. We have to go to Custom. And we want to go to all elements and unlock visible layers. Sorry, on unlocked invisible layers. Instead of an element, I can actually go and choose a layer. Like right now my roof layer is off. But here's the electrical layer. When I select this, all of my components, all the entities that I have assigned to the electrical layer are now selected. This does only work per story. If I choose my second story or my basement, it's not selected. I have to select this story individually. Your find and select tool does only do by story. But case in point, go to custom or criteria name, all elements on unlocked and visible layer. I can now choose any one of my layers, and in this case, we want the electrical layer, and I want to change the display order. We want to bring this to the front. We want to make this the most prominent thing on this plan type. Bring the front. If there's other things that you want to do, like you want to select all the text and send it back, you could do that, but text is an element. You can just go here and choose text. but you can use this to choose layers, the find and select tool.